Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Puzzle Agent 2. So, the FBI has come in with a bunch of agents in black that may not even work for the FBI, and they're questioning everybody about everything, and they think I'm crazy, and I sound crazy, and we're trying to figure out what's going on. It is a very good mystery that's been presented to us, because... It could be astronauts, it could be the hidden people, it could be insanity, and or it could be a combination of all of those, or a serial killer. It, and we just really don't have any proof at all. It, it opens Heathers. a question. Lori? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know mm. it sounds hard to believe, but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. They were trying to tell him something. Hmm. I thought you'd want to know. I've got to find it. The body of the astronaut. Help Nelson retrace his steps and find the body of the astronaut in the forest. Rotate the tiles to create a path for Nelson to the astronaut. Astronauts. It's like, what do you do when the world stops making sense? And you, you never really can know if you're crazy. Crazy people generally don't know that they're crazy. At least that's the old belief. Uh, the cliche. So. Who's to say that that's not exactly what's happening here? Um, this isn't going to work. The only way this would work would be something like that. And... We could do something like this. It's going to use every single piece almost. There we go. Almost every single piece. There we go. So what he's totally missed here is doing just a little bit of research on the Ermies too. Now, also, we're getting the cutscenes that these things are getting sent off and processed, processed still, even though the our boss at the FBI almost certainly would have put an end to his ability whatsoever of doing any of that. So we should be getting a different cutscene, but they obviously weren't ambitious enough to make a new cutscene to grade and score these puzzles. I'm having to use puzzle as a very loose term here, too. It's it's block arrangement almost, almost 100% at this point. And just click on this guy. There's nothing else to see or do. It's an empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. It's still pretty. It doesn't fit me anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Interesting. Let's ask him about this and see what's going on. Those astronauts at the camp, are, are you working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner and fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. What was the mission? Hermes 2. I haven't seen it in any of the official records. It was a secret mission based on uh. confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went wrong a lunar eclipse i guess so the boys on the surface didn't have a chance as soon as they got back to the module they went completely insane had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle the mission and you crashed in scoggins i realized that the ray was a weapon so uh star wars technology destroy uh, 
attack people from the moon. I saw you taken away by the hidden people, didn't I? Yeah, they brought me back to the lander. Why did they take you there? I don't know. They whisper, but in a language I don't understand. Hmm. Not sure why, but I think they were taking me to the lunar ray. They want me to destroy it. <laughs> and your only option is to say I'll help you. So the people, the hidden people are real. They're working with this astronaut who is who installed this weapon on the moon and now we have to destroy it with them. I'll help you, Isaac. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That lunar ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. <laughs> I'm on vacation, therefore I'm gonna commit potentially treason. The government guys have already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't have to hurt anyone. Maybe if I make a noise, I can distract him. Hmm. So, we can distract him by making a noise. How? Seems like we've got two puzzles, three puzzles we just have to go through. Let's just click one. The lunar ray alters the trajectory of rocks regardless of how it's done. Place the trees in a way where the rock bounces off to hit the secret service agent. Mission rock. Oh, I bet there's a mission paper and a mission scissors too. Don't let the rock fly out of the forest. When thrown, the lunar ray will force the rock to the follow in the following pattern. North, east, south, west. So, north, and then right, then down, then left. The ray will keep repeating this pattern. So, here's the rock, and we've got trees. So, north, east, south, west. Then it would go north, east, south, west again. So, we don't want that. So, instead, let's go north, east, south, west. Then it would go north, east, south, west. And it would just be in a circle again. So north, east, north, east, south, west, north, east, south, west. That doesn't seem like that works either. Hmm. How is this supposed to work? I think we're gonna have to use some of these other trees. So north, east, south, south, west, nope, north, just keep it all locked in, there we go, <laughs> problem solved, north, east, south, west, alright, then north, east, south, west, the north, east, south, west. Hmm. All right, so north, east, south, west, north, east, south, west, north, east, south, and then west, the north, and the east. Hmm. Can I get a hint? I got 35 pieces of gum. I might as well use them. Follow along the rock's predicted path when thrown. When it's about to go off the cliff, place trees in the square before they... So, maybe I just don't understand how this is supposed to work. Maybe I'm taking this too little. Maybe it goes north this way and then east this way 
and then south this way, then west this way, which we put it right there, and then north this way and east that way. Let's hit submit and see what happens. It is that. Okay, I was misunderstanding. I thought it only went one square. So they're going to accept my plan to throw a rock at a federal agent. They think that plan is grade A, top agent. <laughs> Look at the animation just not rendering right now. That's That's gotten awful. And can they just not handle the frame rates, or did they just not make the frames? Now we've got to shut down that ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Sven. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral screaming lunatics, just like my crewmates. So the ray is not on the moon. It's here. That, then why would NASA need to, like, maybe some, oh yeah, he said something went wrong. It must have went wrong before they turned on, they landed on the moon. Alright, so, that was all three of them are now distracted. So there isn't a second puzzle there. I thought I was going to have to do one for this guy, one for this guy, and one for that guy. And no, we don't. Good. So I'm right next to the signal, and so are the other guys. So the question has to be, it's like, uh, are That's the other it. guys? That's their home. Uh, but the ray, it's repelling them keeping them from returning home. Hmm. I've got to disable it. Like, why aren't the FBI guys going crazy? That's the question. Unlock the module using the control module. Make a program to move all three electrons into the three receptacles. This is almost the exact same final puzzle that was in the first game. Let's see. So go up and like they don't even tell us the rules this time. Uh, up and then may I think maybe up again. That would put those there. No, that's not a good move. Um, why is there a gun pointed at me? Wow. Wow. Locked Come on, game. Room. The story was that it was for my own safety. I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Really, game. So, I guess it was to be someone expected. We can answer the phone, I suppose. And get a mysterious caller. How many puzzles have we done now? 23? The ringing still goes on. Yeah, there's still a decent... Decent number of them. Decent number of puzzles. Hello? How can I fix this? Finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen, it's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that. But you've got to hear this. I think you left your recorder on, or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. Hmm. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. What can we do here? Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhaven's reel-to-reel. -reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. Uh, okay, but what does... Hmm. I figured out how Olaf Velhoven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. It's the hidden people 
he was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. And that means finding a way out of this room. So, I can't even get out of the menu. I want to go to the main menu and then come back. But I imagine I need to exit the program completely and restart it to even have a chance for it to stop screwing up the graphics. This is really unacceptable. This is such a simple game. Uh, so simple. There's no reason why the just core engine of the Telltale tool would not be able to animate this. It should be super easy. Maybe it's the fact that the, maybe the Telltale tool can't do 2D images, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense. It's just not handling graphic files right. Okay, we need to rearrange the furniture and create a path for Nelson to exit the room without being seen through the windows. Only two dressers are tall enough to block the windows. Get Nelson out of there. This is the same thing, same puzzle as before. Uh, and I can't do it because the background's not animated. So I don't know which way is the exit. And the lighting, you see how it's it's unpredictable. So let's quit for a second. Come here. Go back to the main menu. No, see that's not gonna work either. We got a full reset. Exit away. Come back. Relaunch this. Apparently I still have quite a few achievements to collect according to Steam as I look there. And just hope this fixes it. That is ridiculous. It is true I've been playing this game non-stop from the beginning, as I do most games. But there's no reason why any program should ever crash just because I of consistency. Works out for Isaac and like, Lori. It's, it's a shame that most, so many programs, including Windows itself, do seem to and did seem to for many decades feel like they would leak memory and cause you to reset your entire computer. Uh, and we don't have to do that anywhere as much as we used to. But the fact that here this 2010 game, I believe is when it came out, maybe 2011, it's just not able to animate the simplest of stationary drawings. Let's come back here. So now we can see the background. <laughs> now we can figure it out. Hmm. We need a path and we need that path to allow for movement. Let's see. And I can't move myself, which this is the ridiculousness of this puzzle is you can move all this heavy furniture fine, can't move your own body out of the way at all. Hmm. This is interesting. He, he, he's not occupying a space. So... this one and this one that means this bed needs to be on this side that's an easy enough thing to fix and everything's blocked now and he has a path submit and see I just reset the program nothing else I just closed it and started it again it, it makes no sense why it wasn't working, and it makes no sense why it is working now. Hmm. Let's move forward, I guess. Now, how did Olaf get the hidden people to talk to him? Now, there aren't any save files or anything like that, so the only way I would have been able to go back and get the cutscenes that we just got messed up would require me to start a new file, play to that point again, spend several hours of extra playthrough just to record it and hopefully it doesn't mess up again. It may very well be that it 
just always messes up in that section, but that seems a little unlikely because the reset fixed it. If the reset had fixed it, I would have to then assume that they just sent a game out with totally broken textures and it would never animate correctly. And that would be even worse, but this is still unacceptably bad. Looks like Olaf was a fan of Galileo. Hmm. The moist, white flesh of the codfish. But enough of that. It is time to call my tiny friends. Yes, what luck! Come, speak with me, my friends. So he does it with music. Look at this. This is quite the animation. So, are we in outer space or are we communicating with each other looks like we've got maybe four puzzles and or maybe just one puzzle it wouldn't surprise me if it's four let's start with this one get the sun's rays to hit the earth using the angle of the satellites don't hit the moons or asteroids hmm. so I've noticed there's been a considerable lack of explanation on a lot of these things too. It's just like, do it and don't worry about saying, oh, that the sun rays will bend at 95 degree angles or anything like that. That's not important to know. I think that's it. Now, I would say at the very least, they're giving us the same style of puzzle over and over again, so we should be getting better at it. That's something Puzzle Agent kind of missed in the first game. Uh, we, was You'd only see a puzzle maybe once or twice, and it would, you really wouldn't have felt like you had improved your skill because you move on to the next style of puzzle right after it. We've done this puzzle. Now five six seven times in this game and that's a nice concept it still doesn't fix the problem though the problem with both the first game and the second game is there just aren't enough puzzles for it what regardless of whether it's just a smaller style of puzzles um, or more variety uh, i would probably take more variety What is that audio? Uh, so now we have like this dying astronaut here uh, for some reason. Apparently it's going to fill in the picture of what happened. Uh, yeah, it just needs more puzzles. Puzzle games almost always need more puzzles. Raccoons like to take a dip in the lakes of Skogans in groups, so it's cold. It's so cold they hop out immediately and won't return for a while. Arrange the pho photos in chronological order. So these guys are frozen, and this is one that's frozen. This guy. Hops in, and then two hop in. Well, there's more here, and so one hops out. Hmm. I think I think this is the right one. 
like to take dips in lakes in groups, so it's it's so cold they hop out immediately and won't return for a while. And I don't think the in groups part of that means anything. Hmm. So I'm gonna submit this and assume that's right. Now we're in a dangerous position here where the ooh, where we may go 30 minutes. Focus on first on the two groups of three raccoons, then figure out the remaining photos. Uh, two groups of three raccoons. Well, here's a group of three. So maybe this is it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's just hit submit again. Try it again. Why not? We're still trying to mess up three times. Let's go ahead and use a hint on all three of them too. The number of raccoons on the docks in one photo will move to the water in the next photo. Okay, good to know. The number of raccoons in the water in one photo will move to the shore in the next photo. Okay, good to know. Focus on the groups photos with a group of three raccoons. You won't see th three in the water, so a photo with a set of three would either be the first or the last in the sequence. Interesting. Hmm. So that's all three. So this one has to be this. And then I'm just totally misunderstanding this, aren't I? It has to go something like this. This number, this guy jumps out, so there should be two. And these two jump in. And so where this other guy came from, I don't even know. Oh, it's actually the other way around. There's three that start. Two in the water, one in here. And then these guys jump out here. And this guy jumps in there. And this guy shows up. And I guess these three just leave. And so then this guy here is that one, and this guy here will be that one, and these two will be those. I think I've got it. Attempt number three. So you needed to do three attempts to cost the taxpayer more than uh, two attempts worth of money for an achievement and I used all the hints so that's about the worst you could ever do I don't think you go below one star there's some interesting sound engineering choices going on here so now we have an asteroid and let's see what is this thing here just spinning around hmm so we've done 26 puzzles we have 23 hints used and there's two more puzzles in this group and then the lunacy algorithm and the lander circuitry and then three more here so even a free play bonus mode which I think this game does have isn't going to hold too much available to us. How many journal entries have we done? We've cost the taxpayer over $3 million. A ridiculous 41 uh, journal entries compared to the first game that barely, I think, had like 25. Wow. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, Comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos. All of that helps me out. 
If you want to support me, you can click on my name Rhino. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.